Hello friends, hello designers. If you're an affinity designer user like myself and you export your repeat patterns into Procreate so you can check if they repeat seamlessly, this video is for you. Trust me, Affinity Designer has a really cool feature. It's called Live Preview that will allow you to create beautiful patterns in seconds. It is so easy that I can actually explain it in under five minutes. At the end of this video, I will explain how to download the exact preset that we'll be creating together as part of this video, so you can start using it as soon as possible. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a new file. So let's do it. I'm going to press on a plus, select new document, uh, choose a, any document settings if you wish. I prefer to work in pixels and I'm going to set up a simple 1000 by 1000 pixel file with 300 dpi. I will choose it to be transparent and press OK. Here is our file. Okay, so there's no layers, nothing, it's clean. The first thing we're going to do is create an artboard. So go and select artboard and then draw a shape. I usually draw a rectangular shape. Okay, it doesn't have to be precise. We can go and change the size of that artboard to the one you want. So you choose 1000 by 1000. That's my choice. You can choose 4000 by 4000. I think it's more common, but I'm just for, de for demonstration purposes, I use 1000. Now it appears in my layers and I want to change the name of that artboard. So I press three dots at the top and I change the name to main pattern. Okay, now next thing we need to do, we need to select a rectangular shape, okay, and we need to draw a rectangular exactly the same size, size with main pattern artboard. Okay, so I draw uh, a shape and I go back and I change the size, so I'm, I want to be very precise. Make sure you have snapping tool selected, it's the one at the bottom left corner, um, that will allow your rectangular layer to snap exactly to the main pattern. If you want to be absolutely sure, just check that it is 1000 by 1000. The next step is an, a, a first important step. So you need to select this rectangular layer. You need to make sure it is selected. And we would need to create a symbol out of it. So we go under the symbol uh, menu and we will press at the hamburger menu at the top and choose add symbol from the selection and you will see your rectangular here. Make sure, and this is very important, make sure that synchronization of all of the symbols is on. So if it's white, it's off. If it's blue, it's on. It took me a while to figure this out because I didn't know uh, which color I should be aiming for. So you're aiming for this dot to be blue, so it's selected. If you go back to your layers, to check that you, this is that this is being converted into a symbol, uh, you will see an orange line next to it, and it's the same for version one or two in Affinity Designer. Whichever you use, it's going to be the same. Okay, so this is uh, the first very important step we went through. So next, we need to create another artboard for a preview. So I select um, another rectangular and I change the size of it. You need to, you need it to be at least twice of your original artboard. So I select 2000 by 2000 so I can see how my repeat pattern flows. Okay, I will rename it and I call it uh, pattern preview. Okay.
Now, here, second and the last very important step, and I got it wrong a few times before I figured this out. So you need to press on the symbol so it is selected, and then you need to duplicate that layer. So press duplicate, and then go into a selection tool and move it across to your pattern preview. Okay, snapping to tool is on, so that's easy snapped. Now, here, be very, <laughs> um, be careful, because right now you're selected, you need to go back and select the right symbol layer, the one under the main pattern. This is where I got it wrong a few times. So you select it again, duplicate it again, and move it across. I need to do it four times. If your pattern preview is twice as big as your original artboard, you will have to do it four times. Okay, so now you've finished setting up a live preview in Affinity Designer and from, from now on everything is extremely easy so you can start working creating that seamless repeat pattern. So let me demonstrate how that works. I'm just going to go into my files and add an illustration, something that I created recently. If I decide to make any changes, I can see it live how it will work um, as a pattern. Okay, let's add another flower. Let's just simply duplicate this one and rotate it a little bit. And so if you can see again, it appears seamlessly in the pattern preview. That's it for today. I hope you learned something new and I'm sure you will find live preview feature in Affinity Designer extremely useful. If you have any trouble setting it up, leave me a comment because I do answer them and I do that very quickly. If you still struggle setting it up, I will add a link uh, in the description below this video with directions how you can download this same preset we've just set up together. So you can use it uh, as soon as possible if you even if you have some troubles. So thank you again for watching this video. I'll see you next time.